what's up business hippies. We're here to talk about the chemistry of kombucha today. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about basic concentration and how to calculate concentration versus grams of something. Um, we're going to talk about how to calculate how much sugar to add into your product, how much acidifier to add into your product or magic juice. And we're going to do a couple scenarios for you to, to help you figure out um, how to stretch out your kombucha, how to formulate your kombucha, and all those different scenarios. So here, come on in. Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, three things today. We're going to talk about concentration, one. So concentration, which we're going to call C here, is the number of grams, or N, in a given volume. We'll call liters, we'll be working with liters today, and we'll call that V. So what's the formula we're going to use? C equals N over V. So concentration is equal to number of grams over volume. That's why our concentration is in grams per liter. See, grams per liter, number of grams per liter. So how do we use this in formulation? Basically, you know, if I have a, if I have a given concentration of sugar, how do I know what my concentration is? How do I know how many number of grams I have? So what you can do, and the best way to work with concentrations like this, is to ask how many grams do I have of a product in a, in a given volume? So that's what we're going to do. So how many grams of sugar? Five bricks equals 5% sugar equals 50 grams per liter. So this here is C for concentration. Now, what we're asking, the question is, what is the number of grams that we have in a certain amount of liquid? So let's say we have 10 liters. 10 liters, right? That was, will be V. So we have our V, we have our C, and so what we're looking for is N. Basically what I'll do is C equals N over V, and then I'll replace these. So C, 50 grams per liter, equals N, which is what we don't know, and V is 10, 10 liters. So if you want to solve this, we do 50 times 10 equals N. N equals 500 grams. So that means that if you have a, if you have a solution that is 5% sugar or 5 bricks, which is what your instruments are going to tell you, you have 50 grams per liter, in which case you have 500 grams of sugar in your product. How can you use this in a recipe? You can go backwards as well. You could go, I have, I am making, let's say, 10 liters of product. So 10 liters is which variable? Is it V, N, or C? It's, is it concentration? No. Is it number of grams? No. It's volume. So it's V. I want a concentration of, let's say, six bricks equals 60 grams per liter. So what's that? Grams per liter is concentration. So if I go back to my formula here, C equals N over V. What's my C? My C is 60 grams per liter. What's my N? I don't know what my N is, so I'm going to put that there. What's my volume? 10 liters. We're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to do 60 times 10 equals N, 600 grams. So basically what we've done is we've asked two different questions but solved it in the same way. Now, what you can do is apply this to acidity as well. Titratable acidity is often given in percentage of titratable acidity in citric acid equivalents. So that's just, it doesn't mean you have citric acid in the product, but it just means that it's a reference. So basically at 0.5%, if we look back over here, 5% sugar means 550 grams per liter. So if you want to go from percentage to grams per liter, you multiply by 10. So 0.5% times 10 equals 5 grams per liter. And that way you can calculate how much acidity is in your product and how much acidity you want in your product. For example, if you have some uh, magic juice that is 5% acidity and you wanted to make 100 liters of kombucha at 0.5% acidity. So if we wanted to figure out how much magic juice to put in our product to make 100 liters of product that's at 0.5% acidity, we would do C equals N over V. So C is five grams per liter, V is 100, and N is what we're looking for. So in that case, we can solve. So five times 100 is 500 grams of acidity. Now, how much magic juice do we need to have these 500 grams? So C equals N over V for the magic juice. So C is 
5% acidity, so that's 50 grams per liter, because we multiply it by 10, so 50. N is what we calculated over here, so 500 grams. V is what we're looking for. So this is 50 times V equals 500. Divide both, by, both sides by 50, get V equals 10 liters. 10 liters of magic juice is what you need to add, or what you need to use to get a kombucha at 0.5% acidity. For more information on how to calculate quantities and concentrations, check out our website.